Atop the hill, where the earth seemed to cradle history in its contours, stood Donald Yates, a man whose stoic demeanor echoed the countless stories etched into the very fabric of the land he proudly called home. His face, weathered by the passage of time and the trials of life, bore witness to the generational journey embedded in the sprawling expanse beneath him. As the sun gracefully dipped below the horizon, its final golden rays painted the scene with hues of amber, casting long shadows that danced upon the undulating terrain of the vast 100 acres. This expansive patch of earth had been an unwavering part of the Yates family legacy for well over a century, witnessing the ebb and flow of seasons, and cradling the dreams and aspirations of those who came before him. Amidst this captivating landscape, a recently rebuilt house stood as a testament to the harmonious coexistence of the past and present. A beacon of modernity nestled among ancient sentinels, the towering trees that had witnessed the passing of time and bore silent witness to the family's enduring connection to the land. The creek, a sinuous thread of life meandering through the heart of his estate, added a soothing melody to the picturesque tableau. As the day transformed into night, the juxtaposition of the contemporary dwelling against the backdrop of the time-honored natural elements created a scene of enchanting contrast, inviting contemplation of the intricate tapestry woven by the passage of time on the canvas of Donald's familial heritage. The serenity that had once enveloped the evening like a comforting shroud was abruptly shattered by the distant, dissonant hum of bulldozers and the metallic clinking that echoed through the air, a discordant symphony signaling the unwelcome intrusion of the homeowners' association. HOA. To Donald, a man who had cultivated a profound connection to the land that cradled his family's legacy, this abrupt departure from the accustomed tranquility was both alarming and unsettling. What made it all the more perplexing was the realization that he wasn't even a member of this imposing association, yet here it was, casting its industrial shadow over his cherished domain. As he descended the hill, each step seemed to carry a weighty sense of foreboding, as if the very earth beneath him resonated with the disquiet coursing through his veins. The once crisp evening air now bore the unmistakable scent of tension, an invisible thread weaving through the landscape, binding the man and the land in a shared sense of disquiet. The encroachment of the HOA's heavy machinery clashed starkly with the natural rhythm of the environment, creating a jarring juxtaposition that Donald, with furrowed brow and a gaze fixed on the unfolding scene, couldn't quite reconcile. In the midst of this unexpected disruption, the shadows cast by the setting sun seemed to elongate and twist, mirroring the complexity of emotions that surged within him. It was as if the very essence of his familial history was under siege by the mechanized intrusion, and Donald found himself caught in the middle of a battle between tradition and the relentless march of modernity. The evening, once a haven of peace, now stood as a canvas painted with conflict and uncertainty, leaving Donald to navigate the uncharted waters of an unexpected challenge to the sanctity of his ancestral home. As Donald neared the boundaries of his cherished property, a wave of disbelief washed over him, rivaling the turbulent waters that now encircled his once idyllic abode. The once tranquil creek, a natural haven that meandered peacefully through his land, had fallen victim to a ruthless and calculated assault. Its gentle currents, now diverted with an efficiency bordering on malevolence, surged relentlessly towards his residence, transforming it into an unintended island amidst the unforgiving floodwaters. The modern architectural masterpiece that had proudly adorned his landscape for a mere decade now found itself ensnared in the relentless grip of a watery siege, its once solid foundations gradually succumbing to the relentless force of the encroaching tide. A potent mix of rage and bewilderment coursed through Donald as he surveyed the surreal scene before him. It was a tableau of devastation, orchestrated by unseen hands with a nefarious agenda. In the midst of this aquatic onslaught, he uncovered a shocking revelation, the Homeowners Association, HOA, typically a steward of community well-being, had become an unlikely adversary. Motivated by a clandestine agenda, they had devised a sinister plan to devalue his property, paving the way for an opportunistic acquisition. The creek diversion, he realized with a sickening clarity, was not a random act of nature but a tactical maneuver, an insidious ploy to exploit the vulnerability of his once-secure home. The realization fueled his anger, 
transforming the flooding disaster from a mere natural calamity into a deliberate act of betrayal. A conflagration of fury blazed within Donald, an inferno fueled by the gross injustice that had befallen his cherished property. However, rather than succumbing to the visceral urge for immediate retaliation, he steeled himself and embraced a more strategic approach. In a decisive moment, he resolved to wage a battle that transcended the impulsive, opting instead for a calculated response that would harness the very systems the Homeowners Association HOA, had attempted to manipulate to his disadvantage. With a resolute determination, Donald channeled his anger into a purposeful pursuit of justice. His first strategic move was to engage the formidable resources of the Environmental Protection Agency EPA, and other pertinent government agencies. These entities, traditionally guardians of environmental integrity and regulatory compliance, became potent allies in his quest for retribution. In orchestrating this alliance, Donald sought not merely restitution for his own losses but also the unmasking of the clandestine machinations that had transpired. The scope of his fight extended beyond personal vendetta, it evolved into a noble endeavor to safeguard the principles of justice and uphold the integrity of communal and environmental regulations. As he navigated the labyrinth of bureaucratic processes, Donald's resilience and conviction blossomed into a beacon of hope against the shadowy forces that had conspired against him. Each document submitted, every meeting attended, and all the meticulous evidence compiled became a testament to his unwavering commitment to exposing wrongdoing and holding the perpetrators accountable. The journey was arduous, fraught with legal intricacies and bureaucratic red tape, but Donald pressed forward undeterred, his quest for justice mirroring the resilience of his imperiled home amidst the encroaching floodwaters. A labyrinthine tapestry of legal battles unfurled, a multidimensional dance that wove together the intricate threads of truth and deception, justice and corruption. The lawsuit initiated by Donald against the Homeowners Association, HOA, metamorphosed into a colossal undertaking, a legal odyssey where every page bore witness to the indomitable spirit of a man determined to safeguard not only his property but also the storied legacy of generations that had preceded him. Each legal maneuver became a strategic step in this high-stakes chess game, where the pawns were legal precedents. The bishops were ethical considerations, and the knights were swift motions of advocacy. In the courtroom, the air crackled with tension as Donald's legal team meticulously presented a case that transcended the boundaries of a mere property dispute. It was a symphony of evidence, each note resonating with the echoes of historical significance and familial heritage. The documents filed were not mere legal paperwork, they were manuscripts chronicling the blood, sweat, and tears invested in building and nurturing a haven that now faced the perilous threat of devaluation. The courtroom itself became a battleground, a theater where the clash between right and wrong played out in the hallowed halls of justice. Donald, flanked by his legal advocates, emerged as a modern-day crusader, wielding not a sword, but the weight of irrefutable evidence and the power of articulate argumentation. The echoes of legal arguments reverberated like thunder, challenging the very foundations of the HOA's clandestine agenda. The lawsuit, far from being a mundane legal process, transformed into an epic narrative of resilience and defiance. With every passing day, it became a living testament to the endurance of one man's fight against the machinations of a seemingly omnipotent homeowners association. The legal battlefield, once a sterile environment of statutes and regulations, now pulsated with the life force of a community's struggle for justice. In the face of this legal maelstrom, Donald stood resolute, a beacon of hope for those who had been wronged, as he endeavored to unravel the complexities of the legal dance between right and wrong. As the legal proceedings stretched on, the HOA's shady dealings began to unravel. Secrets hidden in the shadows came to light, revealing a web of deceit and collusion. The HOA, it seemed, was working hand in glove with a developer whose practices teetered on the brink of legality, all in an effort to force Donald off his land. The courtroom became an arena of conflicting narratives, with the developer attempting to justify their actions while Donald stood resolute, a pillar of unwavering determination. The size of his land, the forest that bore witness to centuries of family history, and the creek that once symbolized continuity became the centerpiece of the legal drama. 
As the trial reached its zenith, evidence mounted against the HOA and their developer ally. The court found in favor of Donald, awarding him a significant settlement of $650,000 as compensation for the damages inflicted upon his property and the emotional toll exacted by the malicious actions of those who sought to exploit him. However, the sweet taste of victory transcended the mere realm of financial gain, it reverberated as a resounding triumph of justice over deceit and resilience over manipulation. In the aftermath of the legal battle, Donald, once an embattled landowner, metamorphosed into more than just a victor in a property dispute, he emerged as an emblematic figure, a living testament to the indomitable spirit that defies corruption and stands tall against the relentless torrent of injustice. The victory, when viewed through the lens of Donald's relentless pursuit of truth, unfolded as a narrative that surpassed the boundaries of a legal win. It echoed with the resonance of a moral victory, a vindication of principles that transcended the tangible confines of mere monetary compensation. Each legal argument presented, each document meticulously examined, became a brushstroke in the portrait of a man who had weathered the storm of deceit with unwavering tenacity. Donald, against the backdrop of legal skirmishes and strategic maneuvers, emerged not merely as a landowner reclaiming his property but as an enduring symbol of tenacity and principled defiance. His story became a parable, circulating through the community and beyond, inspiring others to stand tall against the machinations of corruption and manipulation. As the legal dust settled, the once besieged man now stood as a beacon of hope, a living testament to the idea that justice, when pursued with unwavering determination, can triumph over the most insidious forms of deceit. The community rallied around Donald, not just as a neighbor but as a symbol of collective strength in the face of adversity. The victory, engraved in the annals of local lore, became a rallying cry for those who dared to challenge the status quo, casting Donald as a modern-day hero whose legacy extended far beyond the boundaries of his property. With the legal battles finally behind him, Donald set about restoring his property to its former glory. The creek was redirected to its original course, and the scars inflicted upon the land began to heal. The ancient trees stood tall, a testament to the endurance of nature and the strength of a family that had weathered the storm. In the aftermath, the HOA faced its own reckoning. Exposed for their duplicitous machinations, they were held accountable for their actions, facing legal consequences that reverberated through the community. The developer, too, faced scrutiny, their shady practices coming under the spotlight of public scrutiny. As for Donald the settlement he received allowed him not only to repair the damages but also to fortify his property against future encroachments. The legacy of his family, spanning over a century, endured, and the lessons learned from the ordeal were etched into the very soil he walked upon. In the quiet aftermath, Donald stood on the hill once again, gazing over his land. The creek flowed freely, and the forest whispered tales of resilience and triumph. The modern house, rebuilt and reinforced, stood as a testament to the indomitable spirit of a man who had fought not just for his property but for the principles that defined him. The echoes of his victory resonated beyond the boundaries of his land, becoming a cautionary tale for those who would seek to exploit the vulnerable and a beacon of hope for those who believed in the enduring power of justice. We are looking for some feedback from our viewers. We have included the readable text in this story. Does that matter to you or would you just have us read the story instead and omit the text on the video? Reading the story out loud will always remain. Let us know what you think and thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. If you would like to see more of our original stories then please like and subscribe, and share and leave comments.